Hi and welcome to the Ideal Calibrations How to Calibrate Your Gas Monitor series. This video is on how to calibrate the MSA Solaris unit. We're going to need the monitor itself, a 0.25 liter per minute regulator, an adapter for the cal cup, the cal cup itself, some tubing. I prefer the Viton tubing over the Tigon and the Teflon line, and also a cylinder of calibration gas. We use the Ideal Gases brand. We're going to turn the unit on. Press and hold button on the top here until it gives a beep. Let it go, and it's going to start going through a long self-check procedure as it starts up and warms up the sensors. We'll put that to the side for now. In the meantime, you can begin assembling the regulator and the cal cup. Take the cal cup, screw on your adapter so it's snug. Take your regulator here and make sure it's open. You never want to screw on a closed regulator onto a cal cylinder as it pushes room air into the cylinder and can distort your gas values. Go ahead and screw that on there while it's open. Once you hear the gas hissing, go ahead and turn off the regulator and continue to screw it closed. Now you can take one end of your tubing, put it on top of your regulator, Grab the other end and put this on the end of your cow cup. And we can put that off to the side for now. It's still going through the check procedures. The gas you're going to use by default from MSA is going to be hydrogen sulfide, 20 parts per million, carbon monoxide, 60 parts per million, and a pentane simulant. We use 1.45% methane by volume. Occasionally a sensor can get poisoned and will still react to pentane, but it won't see natural gas, so we like to use natural gas at all times. And that's 58% LEL pentane for it. Oxygen is going to be at 15% to test the oxygen cylinder on a bump, and you have nitrogen balance. Always remember when you're using calibration gas to check the expiration date and the manufacture date. Typically, reactive blends will only last one year for manufacture. Okay, our monitor is done with a self-check. You'll see it's got zeros for every item, and it'll have a 20.8 for O2. Just begin, turn to the side. You're going to hold in the reset button until it gives a beep. There it goes, and it's asking for a cal zero. We're going to hit this button at the top. This gives us a fresh air cal zero. Make sure the air around you isn't contaminated. There's no fumes from any cars or anything along those lines. Now it gives a pass. And if it didn't give a pass, you'd want to change the sensor to take it in for repairs. Now it's asking for a cal span. So we'll hit yes. Now, as for the gas, simply take our cal cup, screw it on. and turn on the gas. Make sure everything is nice and snug. You'll notice the oxygen sensor dropping. What it's doing here is not calibrating it per se. What it's actually doing is just testing to make sure that it's dropping down. If you don't see an oxygen sensor drop downs, occasionally they will get stuck at 20.8 or 20.9, so always make sure you don't test them before you go out for the day. Don't pay too much attention to the numbers up on the screen. Unless it comes up and gives you an alarm, generally it's just seeing what the range is that it can achieve for the sensors, and they'll adjust by the computer inside. Now we came up with a pass, so the first thing we're going to do is take our regulator here and screw it off. Turn it off here. Next step, unscrew the cal cup. We're going to let it air out for a minute. In the meantime, go ahead and take the regulator off your calibration gas cylinder. 
Never want to leave a regulator on top of a cow gas cylinder. Occasionally there's impurities inside your, your regulator, anything along those lines that can react with the cylinder. Of course they'll break off, things along those lines. You always want to keep it safe. Put that off to the side. And you'll notice the no number slowly coming back down to zero. Okay, and there we are. We're back down at zero, and the oxygen is reading 20.8. I'm going to turn the unit off, go to echo over, button until it turns off, and you're all set. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any further questions, you can go ahead and give us a call over at Ideal Calibrations. Our phone number is 734-365-7192, or you can email me at james at idealcalibrations.com, or alternatively, use our contact us form on www.idealcalibrations.com. Thanks, you have a wonderful day today. Keep safe.